Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Cadet Academy. Today is going to be a short video on formatting a whitelist. When you have a client and they are just gathering all these whitelist addresses from everywhere, usually they're going to put it in a list. They're not going to really uh, pay much attention to the way it's formatted. A lot of times you'll see, oh, you'll get a whitelist, something like this, where it's just a bunch of spaces. It's probably in a Google form or something like that. There are more than likely going to be some duplicates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I format it perfectly every time to make sure that if I'm trying to plug this in for a Merkle tree root calculation or anything like that, it's going to come out perfect every single time. Now, there's probably better ways to do it, but this has worked for me. Like I said, this has been tried and true. No matter what format that I get it in, I can usually clean up the data pretty well in this manner. So what you're going to do, um, and just a quick note, if you are following along, you can get all of this in our repository in the Crypto Cadet Academy on GitHub. Um, you can download this to follow along, but we will be going through the code together. So let's say you had a whitelist that looks something like this, where it's just kind of all over the place. Um, you know it's not in the right format and you don't want to take any risk when it comes to generating this whitelist Merkle tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy that and we're going to put it in this txt file. As you can see, like I said, from here, it looks a little bit better, but it's got a lot of spaces and we want to clean this up. So how would we do that? Let's go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do is we've got this whitelist.py file or whitelist.py file. And what we'll do is all we need is OS. lines with an S. Let's create an array called addresses and then let's do a for loop. And what this loop is going to do is for every line we want it to strip out this backslash in which is just new line every time there's a new line and then we're going to have the script check if it's an address on that line and if so oops append that line to the array and then at the very end just print out addresses okay now if we did everything correctly what that's going to do is it's going to open up winners it's going to check every line for an address and if it finds an address it's going to add it to this array and then print out the array so what that's going to look like is something like this. So let's go into the right directory. Let's call whitelist.py. Okay, so you see that it kind of gives us all this. And what we're just going to do is we're going to copy this. And let's do something like open up a text file. 
new text file. And all I do from here, easiest way, is I just find the single quotes, replace them with double quotes, replace all. Call it done. Copy and paste this. And now let's create a new file in our resources folder called formatted addresses.json. Paste it in. And what we can do with this is there's a cool little shortcut. Um, I'm on a Mac, but it's for Mac, it's shift, shift option F. For Windows, it's probably the equivalent. And from there, that's pretty much it. So I could literally take this, copy and paste it into whatever Merkle tree uh, address, address file that I want. And I know that everything came out exactly the way we need it to. So hopefully this helps. If you found it helpful, please do give a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.